Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for today's live music class. My name is Christy. I'm the marketing manager here at Kids and Company, and we're so excited to be able to provide this service to all of our families and friends with our friends, ABC Music. The director of ABC Music, Barnaby, will be leading today's class. If at any time you have any questions, feel free to use both the question and answer or the chat function at the bottom of your screen, and then we'll assure that we get these questions answered at the end of the class. Over to you, Barn. Thank you very much, Christy, and good morning to all the kids and company families joining us across the country and uh, perhaps in the U.S. as well. We're delighted to have you this morning. I'm going to just speak for a couple of minutes to give some latecomers a chance to join us and maybe give you a little bit of context about what we're doing. So uh, first things first, we want to make sure your setup is good at home. So today we're running a baby's class. So this is typically for pre-mobility children. But of course, if you have older children, and many of you do, it's not that complicated. You're going to want to adapt what we're doing and sort of exaggerate our movements. You know, so if I'm bouncing and we're standing, you may want to be jumping for your older children. Otherwise, you don't need too much space. I've laid out my yoga mat here, and uh, we're going to just use the length of the yoga mat and the space there. But if uh, you do have larger children, you may find yourself jumping around in a bigger space. Um, I also want to tell you that there's no wrong answer in terms of what you're doing for your baby. See, I have my baby here. This is Hattie. And uh, I'm going to be doing things that are gentle in terms of movement there. But uh, you can adapt any way you like, and uh, it's a lot like a yoga practice actually in that you want to do the thing that feels right for you in the moment okay so don't feel like you have to rigorously do what I'm doing so uh, something else that you might want to do if you're feeling fancy uh, you know watching this class on a phone or a tablet is kind of uh, a little bit of a detached experience so if you're feeling fancy and you happen to have the technology at home I recommend that you think about uh, mirroring the screen of your device to your TV you can do that with a fire TV stick or an Apple TV or a Roku box uh, any number of things and smart TVs should be able to do that as well so that's uh, pretty good so um, what we're gonna do today is a music together babies class so I want to just tell you a little bit about music together so uh, we've been doing music together for 10 years it's a program that's been around for 32 years and it's a curricular program in nature but our classes are play-based we're not going to be lecturing here a lot um, babies classes tend to have more talking in them because we are trying to explain to you how to you know engage with your very young child um, also on a live class over the internet like this a little bit more explanation tends to be in order so I'll try not to talk too much, particularly because you have older kids uh, that may get distracted. Um, in Toronto, we have 11 Music Together locations and two private music lesson locations uh, in Toronto, North York, Brenton, Caledon, Woodbridge, Vaughan. And um, we are definitely going to come back to that after the class, tell you a little bit more how you can engage with us after the the class if you like and um, in terms of the kinds of music that you would experience in our class music together curates things very carefully for diversity so in our beautiful books which you see above me here there are nine collections that rotate over a three-year period and uh, the content is culturally historically rhythmically and tonally different so very carefully organized the research on uh, Music Together is ongoing into both early childhood and music education to make sure that we're developing, uh, sorry, delivering rather, the best practices of these things to you and your children. So um, I'm going to slowly start to roll into the class. Uh, before I do, I just want to encourage you to maybe step away from your device. This is meant to be interactive. We'll leave some time for the questions and answers after as well as some chat and um, try to participate to the best of your ability. If you don't know the words to a song, just la 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 and do do do, I'm going to help you out with that. It's not a big deal. We do a lot of repetition, uh, which is absolutely part of the regular programming for children. It takes them time to ingest and understand what we're doing, so repetition is important to that. Um, and in a music theater class, we, other than safety, we have really only one rule. And the rule is that if you're not doing it, they're not doing it. Okay, so children entrained to behaviors, particularly from their parents. So if you're going to drop F-bombs, for instance, they're going to do it sooner or later, too. 
So music development, like all development, is a marathon, not a sprint. So it takes time for your children to develop musical behaviors. And they do this through a spiral of observation, experimentation, and then eventually mastery. So for this reason, you have to expose them to music on an ongoing basis. Um, and they will develop these things over time. Music learning supports all learning. So remember, if you're not doing it, they're not doing it. Okay, we'll get started now. Hopefully everyone has joined us from wherever they are. I've got Hattie in my lab, and uh, if your child's on the ground in front of you, that's also fine. Um, remember, do things that are comfortable for you. All right, let's get a beat on. You can tap your child as well, gently. All right, here we go. Hello, everybody. So glad to see you. Hello, everybody. We're so glad to see you too. All right, let's try it. Here we go. Hello, everybody. So glad to see you. Hello. Everybody, we're so glad to see you too. Hello to Hattie, we're so glad to see you. Hello, I'm Barn, I'm so glad to see you too. Hello to, so glad to see you. Hello to the mommies, we're so glad to see you too. Hello to the daddies, so glad to see you. Hello. To Christy, we're so glad to see you too. Hello, everybody, we're so glad to see you. Hello, everybody, we're so glad to see you. Whoa! Whoa! Listen, wait, and then repeat. Do, do. Do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. All right, very nice. So what we just did was what we call a tonal pattern. And this isolates tonality from language and rhythm. And this helps to improve the uh, tonality part of the brain in children separate from the language and rhythmic centers. You might also have noticed that I used this pitch pipe to get the starting pitch of our song. And this is because in Music Together classes, the music and the ranges of the songs that we sing are very, very carefully matched to those of young children. And this helps because it gives them a more easy access point to singing things. They don't have the ranges that adults do. They don't hear well in these areas. So, that way they get into music much more quickly because the points of access are very simple. All right, so we're gonna move back a little bit here. I'm gonna move back and Hattie, I'm gonna lie her down on the ground here in front of me. So you should do the same with your child if you can. Uh, you don't have to do this. If your child is sitting up already, you can do this in a sitting uh, position and we're gonna do something else. So I'm going to do this for you, but you should be doing it for your child. Once you get the hang of it, jump right in. All right, here we go. Five little mice went out to play, gathering crumbs along the way. Out came Pussycat, sleek and fat. Four little mice went scampering back. Four little mice came out to play, gathering crumbs along the way. Out came Pussycat, sleek and fat. Three little mice went scampering back. Three little mice came out to play, gathering crumbs along the way. 
out came Pussycat, Sleek, and Fat. Too little my sweat scampering back. Too little mice came out to play, gathering crumbs along the way. Out came Pussycat, Sleek, and Fat. One little mouse went scampering back. One little mouse went out to play, gathering crumbs along the way. Out came Pussycat, Sleek, and Very Fat. The mouse ran away. What do you think about that? All right, now that you've got it, let's do it again. Five little mice went out to play, gathering crumbs along the way. Out came Pussycat, Sleek and Fat. Four little mice went scampering back. Four little mice went out to play, gathering crumbs along the way. Out came Pussycat, Sleek and Fat. Three little mice went scampering back. Three little mice came out to play, gathering crumbs along the way. Out came Pussycat, Sleek and Fat. Two little mice went scampering back. Two little mice came out to play, gathering crumbs along the way. Out came Pussycat, Sleek and Fat. One little mouse went scampering back. One little mouse went out to play, gathering crumbs along the way. Out came Pussycat, Sleek and Very Fat. The mouse ran away. What do you think about that? So, as with our tonal pattern, we're going to do a rhythm pattern. Let's get a beat on. Good. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Good. Okay, so let's pick up our children if we've got them now. We're going to put them in our lap. All right, we're going to start with them in our lap and uh, we're going to do something a little different. So with that rhythm pattern, as with the melodic pattern, we isolated rhythm from the tonal and language parts of the brain to help children focus on the rhythmic part of music making. And, you know, in class we often exercise our entire group of musical muscles, but we also isolate these little musical muscles to help them develop. Because development isn't a smooth curve for children. Sometimes they develop in one area faster than in another. And kids love that chant, that's five little mice, because of its story-like quality. But it's also great for building some early numeracy as well as to build some understanding and scaffolding of how structures work, right? So we go from five down to one. All right, so grab your kid, we're gonna put them in our lap and we're gonna do a little small movement. <laughs> Yeah, 
child react to that song? Maybe bouncing, maybe waving their arms, maybe even doing what looked like screaming along. It might not look musical, but one of the first things you can watch for with your baby is what we call the characteristic gesture. The thing that they do when they hear music. This is hardwired into humans from the very beginning. So don't write off that kind of reaction. It's important. Keep your eyes peeled. All right, so we're gonna get up now and we're gonna move around a little bit. <clears throat> Again, you wanna just be sure that you're adapting to your needs and to your baby's needs. If you have larger children around, this is a good one to adapt into some more vigorous activity. So don't be shy to sort of improvise and take the lead, all right? The important thing is what you're doing for your children. Remember, you can la 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 and do do do. La 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 this train is bound for glory. This train is bound for glory. This train is bound for glory. Children get on board. This train is bound for glory. This train is bound for glory. This train is bound for glory. Children get on board. No more weeping and a wailing. No more weeping and a wailing. No more weeping and a wailing. Children get on board. Join me. No more weeping and a wailing. No more weeping and a wailing. No more weeping and a wailing. Children get on board. La 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 la. La 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 la
This train is bound for glory. This train is bound for glory. This train is bound for glory. Children, get on board. This train is bound for glory. This train is bound for glory. This train is bound for glory. Children, get on board. There'll be no more weeping and wailing. No more weeping and wailing. No more weeping and wailing. Children, get on board. No more weeping and wailing. No more weeping and wailing. No more weeping and wailing. Children, get on board. La 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 la. Good train whistles at home. Well done. Children love to be picked up and held. It releases a lot of positive neurochemicals in their brain, such as oxytocin and dopamine. And you might notice that as they age and they start to get into larger group activities, that they still may want to be picked up during those activities. And you might perceive that as them being disengaged or not willing to participate, but that's not the case. The truth is that they want to do it with you, and they want to do it with you in a way that releases these chemicals. So remember, as they get bigger, to support them when that happens. Great. Okay, so we're gonna get comfortable now. We're gonna sing a lullaby. And you can hold your child in the crook of your arm if you like, if that's comfortable for you. I'm going to get a rock on. You can also hold them up here and get face to face and take in that wonderful baby smell while it lasts. Sadly disappears so soon. And then we're going to sing together. <laughs> May, may all, may all children, may all people everywhere hear this prayer. May, may all, may all people, may all children everywhere live in peace, peaceful minds, peaceful hearts, peace on earth, sweet peace on earth. La la with me. La 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 do 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 Okay, so if your child isn't sleeping still, they might have made a noise. They might have been do, and they can do that when they're babies. They're echoing back the main note of the song, and that's something that's a very early musical behavior. And as they grow, they'll start to build that out into the shape of the song. That takes some time. Okay, so if your child is not sleeping, 
we should take them and put them in our lap facing outwards or facing you that's up to you and um, if they are sleeping you're welcome to hold them and just gently give them the beat as we go into our goodbye song <clears throat> Get a little beat on, somewhere where they can see it. Again, you can tap the children if you like. That's good. Goodbye, so long, farewell, my friends. Goodbye, so long, farewell. We'll see you soon again, my friends. So goodbye, so long, farewell. Try it. Goodbye, so long, farewell, my friends. Goodbye, so long, farewell. We'll see you soon again, my friends. So goodbye, so long, farewell. Goodbye to Hattie, goodbye, I'm barn. Goodbye, so long, farewell. Goodbye to the daddies, goodbye to the mommies. Goodbye, so long, farewell. Goodbye to Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, so long, farewell. We'll see you soon again, and then we'll make music together again. So how about a hug for your mom or dad, or the one who takes care of you? And a hug or a handshake for your friends, and then how about one just for yourself? Two. Well, thank you very much. That concludes the official part of our class for today. I hope you had a great time at home. Uh, we're going to take some questions in just a second. Christy will pop on and join us again. In the meantime, I did want to speak a little bit about uh, what we're doing for our programming this spring, because some of you may be in the Toronto area or even beyond and uh, would like to do something with us in these strange and unusual times. So we're just putting the finishing touches on what our spring session is going to look like uh, and it will be online. So it's a little bit uh, unusual, but we're going to try to uh, present this to our families and to you in a way that is sort of going to take away the screen fatigue because I think a lot of people are jumping into the internet to get their experiences and we want to provide uh, not only our class experience but something a little more flexible you know moms and dads still have to work so class times that may have worked in the past uh, may not be as good as they are at the moment so um, what we're going to be doing is launching that in the, by the end of the weekend we hope so we invite you to visit our website at abcmusic.ca we are also offering all kids and company families a uh, very uh, substantial and extended uh, discount. So uh, this is a 20% discount for 15 months. So if you're, even if you don't participate with us right now and you want to start doing some programming in the summer and next school year, we're going to offer you that code. It's valid until the end of June of this year, so June 30th, 2020. And just uh, use this code, KIDCOVID and um, we'll be happy to, to help you out uh, with our classes. Uh, if you're interested in the online portion and you don't live in Toronto, that's fine. You can get that wherever you want. Just uh, visit our website and give us a call and we'll help you out. In terms of uh, staying in touch, we do try to um, provide families with uh, good information about what's happening in the world of early childhood education. So we invite you to follow us on Facebook and the Instagram. Um, at ABC Music Toronto and if you happen to live in the greater Toronto area and uh, prefer something a little more specific to that area you can go abcmusic.toronto. Um, so I'd like to once again thank Kids and Company for hosting us today. It's very nice. I'm really uh, glad that we can help uh, deliver some activity to you in, in a strange time and um, I'll turn it back over to Christy now.
Thank you so much, Barton. That was fantastic. It doesn't look like we have um, any questions that have come in. So I just want to thank everyone so much for joining us. And if you do have any questions for tips and tricks on, you know, how to do music classes with your children at home, you can reach out to Barn and all the methods that he let us know about or us at any time. Also, feel free to check out um, our Kids and Company website. We have a family resource center set up for our families there with lots of great activities that you can use to help navigate these times. Thanks everyone, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now.